Filmed in 1942 and 43 and released in 1944, the wartime documentary Memphis Bell employed cameramen in several B-17Fs of several 8th Air Force bomb groups. Using Kodachrome color motion picture film, the camera crew recorded much more footage than appears in the final motion picture. Thanks to the efforts of the National Archives, many reels of film were preserved, including footage not commonly seen. Here's the first of several Aerial Images edited selections from the seldom seen B-roll footage. The famed B-17F Memphis Bell is sometimes incorrectly characterized as the first B-17 to complete 25 missions over Europe. There are all kinds of arguments that other aircraft and other aviators reached that number slightly sooner, but Memphis Bell and men who flew in this fortress were chosen to represent the plucky early 8th Air Force crews in a morale-boosting bond drive tour back in the United States in the summer of 1943. When the Army Air Force's cameramen were filming missions, they covered several B-17s, and much of this B-roll footage depicts fortresses other than the Memphis Bell. Watch for a view from the inside of a B-17F as the ball turret gunner spins his sphere quickly beneath the bomber. The B-roll film continues as a record of fortress operations, with hands adjusting throttles and a good luck charm doll gracing the glare shield of one of the B-17s. Setup footage shows the crew of the Memphis Bell, with pilot Robert Morgan, standing near their bomber as dignitaries arrive to inspect them and their plane. In addition to King George VI and the Queen, some scenes show the arrival of a C-45 carrying dignitaries to another event with the Bell. The civilian arriving in the C-45 appears to be U.S. Ambassador to England John Gilbert Wenant.
This is Fred Johnson and you are watching the Air Rail Images channel. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more Memphis Bell outtakes, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. Thank you.